Yeah, I think, well, it's not something I think, it, it's so that the body is an incredibly sensitive and delicate instrument for interacting with the world. For instance, uh, an example that I like to use, some of you may remember from when you were children, if you got a really good chemistry set, there would be a thing in it called a spintharoscope. Do you all know what a spintharoscope mm -hmm. is? Well, you could make one of these. They're really neat. You could make one. This seems to be the metaphor of the morning. You could make one with the paper tube from the inside of a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> what a spintharoscope is, is it's a, it's a little pipe, usually no longer than this, and in one end it has a lens, and in the other end, it has a painted phosphorus screen, like a television set, but just a little piece of cardboard that's got a, some phosphorus painted on it. And right in front of the phosphorus screen is a, a needle which has been dipped in airplane glue, and then the end of the needle has been rolled in the kind of radium that is on a glow-in-the-dark watch, you know? So what you do with the spintharoscope is you go into a closet and close the door and you sit in darkness for about 10 minutes and then you look into the spintharoscope and lo and behold it looks like twinkling stars. You see little flashes of light randomly on the other end of the spintharoscope these are, get this, single photons of light because the radiation from the radium is striking the phosphorus screen and kicking out single photons from, uh, from the phosphorus. This is you, you sitting here, 145 pounds of meat, are looking right at single photons coming into existence. You're looking into the quantum realm. Now, they've also done experiments where, in a special kind of apparatus, they can, uh, uh, I don't know how they keep the eardrum from bursting, but they, they evacuate air from the ear, and then they can release a single oxygen molecule into the ear and you can actually hear it bumping against the tympanic membrane. Well, so these kinds of experiments are by way of example that the human body is an instrument with a range of ability that reaches from the quantum mechanical foundations of matter up to when you look through a large telescope out into the galaxy, you know, you can physically have light fall on your eyes that has been traveling for four or five billion years. So the human body is an incredibly advanced instrument for the exploration of nature. And we have, you know, we think you can't learn anything about quantum physics unless you build an instrument 17 kilometers in diameter that costs a hundred billion dollars and provides pork barrel for 20 years for a bunch of weasel politicians. This is just because of our obsession with instrumentality. But what the shaman knows is that the human body is a superb instrument for, for doing this kind of thing. That's why I take, I think the models of reality that emerge out of shamanism are equally on a par with the crowd that's seeking the, you know, the, the top quark and all that other stuff. I mean, these things are pretty airy-fairy stuff, uh, and usually the argument for them rests on the fiat of some fishy formula. So. Uh, Part of the whole thing about psychedelics, I think, is, and I hammer on this all the time, is what I call reclaiming the felt presence of immediate experience. This is what you are. You are not Time Magazine or National Public Radio or any of this stuff. 
the felt presence of immediate experience. Here, now. Everything else is rumor, innuendo, illusion, factual ricochet. And, and uh, we as a culture have completely sold ourselves out. I mean, we all run around with the idea, little me, what do I know? The guys at SRI, they know. The guys at NIMH, notice guys, guys everywhere. Uh, this is a, a kind of self-definition that is totally disempowering. And shamans, all they trust is their own experience. And they don't even trust their memories of their own past experience. The world is made new each time. So the felt presence of experience is all you'll ever know. It's all you ever can know. So why not empower it?